right, what's poppin'? You already know, uh, Mr. J Hill. Um, this is a conversation series. Uh, it's episode like 12 in a matter of what two weeks. Shout out to my guy Alante, based God in the building. Uh, we drinking something different today. Uh, Mahis, brandy, um, local guy DMV based. Uh, so make sure you check them out. Um, it's not that expensive. So man, support the cause. That's what we drinking. My guy G5 drinking. is in the building. What's goody? What's DC, good? Right? Flat, yeah, flat out DC, DC edge came, world, man. He came down to Baltimore to fuck with me. So that's that's poor shot for that, man. Poor shot for that. Appreciate it, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we do, King. Lante don't get no drinks while we doing the interview because he got he got to pay attention. <laughs> how is this, bro? That's good, right there. All right, G Five is in the building. Um, we drinking mahis, brandy. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, dog. Yeah, man, you know me. I'm from Edgewood. If you don't know me, I'm from Edgewood, D.C., you know what I'm saying? Grew up in D.C. Motherfucker, I'm 29 years old, two kids, you know what I'm saying? Been to college, you know what I'm saying? Be still around my way trying to, trying to inspire motherfuckers a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's me, though. That's me. You seem like you real chill, laid back type nigga. Nah, I be turned up. You be turned up? <laughs> yeah, I that's be probably, turned up. That's probably what it is. Wait, what's your, what's your sign, bro? A cancer. See, uh, see. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. I fuck with cancers, but cancers be emotional shit. But yeah, what emotion. I was, <laughs> I <gotta get> emotional. <laughs> At least you keep it 100. Yeah. I fuck with that. What I was going to say is like me, like I be hosting and shit. So like I'm always turned. But like if you meet me, depending on the day you meet me, I be chilling shit. Niggas be like, yo, what the fuck? Nah, I, nah, like I, me personally, I be cool. I be chill till you get to know me. Then you could really get the, you get the full effect of G5, right. you feel me? Yeah, yeah, Other than yeah, that, yeah. I be, you know what I'm saying? You can't give a nigga too much heart. They get, get, cause then they start judging you, think they know you. Like, yeah. you don't know the fuck I Yeah, am. you don't know who I am. <laughs> when motherfucker get to think they know me, I be like, oh, you tripping, bro, you tripping. Facts. Hey, let's, let's, let's drink to that, bro. Let me, <laughs> let me know how this shit tastes too. Let me you know how drink this shit tastes that. Smooth, what is it? Be on it. It's a little sweet. It tastes good, though. It's brandy, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah it it tastes good. Like little smooth. Smooth? It ain't nasty. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's Shout good. out to my Mahis. I gotta say that shit right. But, yeah, man, Um, you making music. Uh, When did you start making music? Um, I originally started making music in the Go-Go Band, mm. you know, but once we stopped doing that, I started making rap when I was probably, like, 10th, 11th grade. But I ain't publicly stopped putting my shit out there till like four years ago. But I was basically practicing for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Brought my first studio. I was like 17 years old. Brought my little studio, which is working. How was the go go shit? Because I know that's 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 huge in in DC. She was lit for us. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> had our little run. They actually throw us up on one of the uh, promotional pages. DMV Hood News about a week or two ago, they gave us a lot of good responses. I ain't know people really was rocking with us like that back then. What band was it? Uh, OKB. See, I, see, Organized Chaos. What was? What's the? What's the three syllables about? Cause is it something behind that? Cause I know everybody's like TCB. The ones I know, XIB. Yeah. It's all like three syllables. So yeah, I was like, I was organized chaos. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what we basically was back then. We were some young dudes. We was doing a lot of bunch of wild stuff, and we was organized. So. You know. But as does everybody had three three syllables is oh, what I'm asking. Like TCB, the, yeah, like TCB, God, XIB, God, OKB. Is it everybody like that? Or? Majority of them. I don't know. I think it's just the culture. Think it's the just culture. Along yeah. with the culture. Yeah, that's Shit, it's just like any record label. Yeah. Most of them got three syllables. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Any record label, they got three syllables. Nah, who else? Uh, what's the what's the what's the Migos? Who they what? OC. QC. 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 Yeah, it's I'm about wrong. two to three syllables. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just feel like every band in DC is three syllables. Yeah, like three every syllables. single one. You gotta, yeah. you gotta have three syllables. Well, you got um. You had a, another one that was. It was just like one word or something. I forgot. Like reaction band, like something yeah, like that. Reaction. Reaction yeah, reaction band, band yeah. Band. Yeah, that's what it's about. Okay. Yeah, reaction don't have no syllables. Right, right. It's about saying band. Okay, okay, okay. I fuck with that. I feel like, you know what? That remind me of, bro, like, the go-go, like, in, in Baltimore scene, like, we used to dance and shit because we had club music and shit. Yeah, I still but, do dance. Yeah, maybe I'm just old. I'm old now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Saying, but yeah. the niggas that was dancing was the cool niggas, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how like, you should be back with Beat Your Feet. Them was the cool dudes when I was in school, like, all the... The cool motherfuckers know how to beat their feet real good. You know what I'm saying? They was getting all the honey. Right, it seemed like that was that was everything though. Like with swimming, 
um, like all the weird shit, like skating. Like the niggas that knew how to skate really good, like they was the lit niggas, low key. Like the niggas that knew. I don't know, we weren't really skating. Y'all weren't skating? Yeah. Nah, it was back, back in the day, niggas that knew how to skate. Like they was cool for real. Yeah, man. Like, so we weren't skating, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That might be some <laughs> different shit. Yeah, man. So we weren't skating and shit. <laughs> we weren't skating. <laughs> yeah, man. So we was in the hood. We shit. weren't skating. We were. Shit, you know <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Niggas was skating back in the day. Niggas used to be dancing on the skates in Baltimore. I mean, I ain't got nothing against the skating shit. That's cool. That's some cool I mean, we shit. Be down feet, though. You know what I'm saying? We was doing all type of shit. We was doing like some Jabberwocky hip hop shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's shit. all right. I fuck with saying? the Jabberwockies too. Shit. So nah, man. So back to the music shit. So you said you started like seriously, I guess, four years ago. Nah, I started seriously when I was in tenth, eleventh grade. Damn. Yeah, I started seriously back then. So, like I, I had started rapping. I was in a group. We was called Flat Out Boys and mm -hmm. shit. And then you know everything. You know it went sour. You know how groups be. So I just started, you know, trying to get my shit ready so when I was ready to drop, I could be ready. I could sound right. I just won't sound crazy. I know what I'm doing. You know how to put my raps together. You know what I'm saying? That's all I be wanting to do. So how was, so I'm, that's what I want to dig into. I, I want to get to know you as an artist. Like you told me how, who you were as a man, you know what I'm saying? But like when you first started making music, how was that process for you? And like, I mean, for me, it was, at off. first it was fun, you know what I'm saying, until I realized you needed the money and shit, and that's when it really got serious, you know, that's why I stopped for a second, because you got to get your money and shit right, that's the most thing you need, and I ain't really got no backing, so I just, you know what I'm saying, I had to figure out how the fuck I was going to come up with some money. How did you do that? Did you take a break and come back, or... <laughs> is, is that a, like a bad, a dumb question? Like, you, nah. you got to it? Like, <laughs> nah, um, how, did you, how, you, how did you get to that bag? What I originally did, I just used my refund check and shit, start throwing shows and shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I started doing. So you was like, you got into the party scene for Yeah. Real. There's a lot of niggas that be like fucking with the swipes and shit. They'll get into the party nah, scene. I ain't never swipe shit. You feel me? I wish I do. Somebody come <laughs> back, teach me nigga. something. I'm trying to come up too. I need some free <laughs> nah, I bands. Like, you feel me? Back in the I need day, some I free bands. But baby. now I'm too old for that shit. Now I got shit, too much. I'm scared of shit. Where the free bands at? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm tired of working hard for that shit. I need some free bands. You feel me? <laughs> Fuck it, like you about to take the, uh, what's the loans and shit. The, uh, I need the, all that all shit. That Put shit, me in man. the game. <laughs> but no, man. So you you started fucking with the parties, but so you you ain't stopped making rap because I, I did an interview with somebody named um uh, shout out to my guy White White and Hammer Time, and he was like he had made some music, and he he said he said he stopped for a second. He was like, man, I had to stop and get to the money. No, I never stopped making the music. I never stopped because, like I said, I was trying to get better, so mm. I wanted to be good when I come out. I ain't want to just be like average or like I'm trying to get good. I want to come out everybody, this nigga good already. Right. Who the fuck is he? All the time, I already been rapping this shit on YouTube from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? But I just stopped for a lot of years. So I had to get my shit together, figure out, like I said, how I was gonna get the money. But when you stopped, shit. you wasn't, you still was making that music Yeah, I just practice. wasn't putting it up. Yeah, okay. yeah, for practice, I was going to the studio still. I was still writing raps all the time. Let's you know talk about saying? that, 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 that time in your life right then and there, right? Was it? I'm assuming it that time it. in my life, I was in college, and I was getting locked up a lot of this shit. I was going through a lot of shit, and I really, I, I really needed to be home. You feel me to do the rap shit? Cause the college, I, I was really by myself. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I needed to be home and shit. That's what that really was. So. But you was getting arrested. You said. Yeah. You was getting locked. Up. What, did you, what did you get arrested for? For selling weed and shit, and and being wild at the clubs and shit. That's about it. Yo, what um. Talk to me about like being in college and having that stigma of people thinking you're a college boy, so you sweet. Cause that's <laughs> niggas really think that, right? That'd be like, the craziest part. <laughs> I'd be like, bro, when I was in college, bro, we was doing the same shit. Like, all right, I be telling my girl and shit. Like, with the college shit, it's the it's the like the underground, then it's like the mainstream. You know, you got all your frat people, all the motherfuckers who were going for like certain parts for certain shit like mm -hmm. the president and all that type them the mainstream to me i was in the underground you feel me we was lit you feel me like that's where all the shit happened in there and it's a difference but yeah, it ain't sweet what's though. the difference you think and don't 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 all right so with the mainstream they got to protect don't their image. It either with the mainstream they have to protect their image you know what i'm saying because everybody they got to be perceived because a lot of the time like you say once you get into them organizations it ain't about you no more it's about the organization so they got to protect everybody you feel me mm -hmm. and with the mainstream i mean with the underground you know it's the underground you feel me <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and that's just how college is to me. It's two sides of that shit. You feel me? But all right, so getting back to when I say that that time of your life, you make you get into the money, you 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 love music at this time, I'm assuming, but you like I can't put this out because I don't have the funds to put it out right. I don't have the funds and I ain't had the support either. But I would have probably had the support if I was home, even if I ain't had the funds. If I was home, it probably could have worked. But I, I was in college, you feel me? Right. How did it feel to be making music but not putting it out? I mean, for me, I was trying to just get my craft right. I knew I was going to put it out eventually, mm-hmm. and I just was waiting. I just knew I was going to put it out. I just had to be ready, had to sound right. I, and I'm still trying to find my sound, you feel me? But now I feel like I'm good enough to go. I'm good enough to go. So the, the group was before this time or at this time? Before. So what was your role and in, 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 what, what was the role that you played in the group? I was really the leader, actually. If you, I'm going to be real. I was the leader, but I was trying to give other people a leader role, like, I was the leader, but I was trying to let other people be the front. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I was trying to be the organizer and let other people take the front row because it was More people. Executive producer type. Yeah, because it was people in the group who could have probably popped off before me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I seen this shit, and I was like, fuck it. That's how we going to do it because I know if y'all get there, I'm going to get there too regardless. That's how it is for it's me. You feel me? Yeah. Yo, um, it's it's crazy because I was, I was wondering because you were saying you were trying to get your sound right. And is it is it different trying to get your sound right individually compared to being in a group and already having a sound together? Uh, we thought we was young money, so that's what our whole thing was. We was just gonna come with the bars and the swag, and that's what it was. We just was gonna come with the young money sound. That's what our whole thing was. So I'm trying to figure out what were you trying to do different? Cause you said you went to school. This is after the band, right? I mean, this I'm sorry, after the group. So what I was trying to do different? Like, yeah, what were you trying? I don't know. To probably I was trying to probably become a man. Fool, a lot of shit happened in my life. You feel me? Like that's probably what it was. I probably started realizing shit. And I wanted more. I wanted to get my mother some shit. You feel me? She just wanted me to go to college. That's what it probably really was. It's a lot to it. You feel me? It makes sense. Shit get real deep. So how how was it um, support wise in the industry or the music industry in DC for you? Like you think a lot of people support you? How, how do you feel about? I it? mean, my people support me. My 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 friends, my family, my VSU family and shit. They support me heavy. Other than that, we gonna thug it out till we get it. You feel me? That's just how it is. That's how we coming straight up. Where you see yourself at in the in the music scene in DC? Like, what if you had to say like where you were at as an artist? What would you say? At the bottom. At the bottom. Why you think that? I don't know. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. You was, you was in Google, so you did everything that pretty much everybody know about. You know what I'm saying? You did the Google. You did the whole group. Now you're doing an individual thing, and you've been doing it for a long time. So I'm assuming like you had to have some type of success with it. Like, wh- where do you? How do you measure your success? Where do you think you at? At the bottom. Mm. And why, nigga? Ex- expand on that. Because <laughs> we ain't got shit. Never shot we ain't got shit. shit. <laughs> we ain't done shit. You feel me? Nigga, like, you ain't just at the bottom. You done did some shit. You know what I'm saying? You like, what the? Shit. Like, what the? Yeah, but like the dude P from QC said, like. When you in it, when you doing it, you don't get to see it. You don't get to really see what you're mm-hmm. doing. And that's me. I don't get to stop and get to look back on what I'm doing. You don't get to reap the benefits of your hard work. At that yeah, moment. I'm not. I'm, for me personally, I'm not looking for the good. I want to see the bad so I get better. Anyway, that's just me. That's how I was taught playing football and shit. You feel me? So like, yeah, I don't really be like looking for the uh, the good shit. I'm trying to get better on my bad. I'm not trying to be motherfucking Doctor Phil, <laughs> but you know. And I say this all the time. Shout out, shout out to my lady. You know what I'm saying? But when you have a girlfriend, she introduces you to new shit. And I'm kind of the That's same. That's what my girl be saying to be Same right. shit you better probably say. Yeah. So, and, and I, I just want to have a, a real man conversation when it comes to like, you know, sometimes you got to acknowledge the shit that you put in. Sometimes you got to acknowledge your wins, right? It's like we always, we always focusing on what's going bad that we, we not able to appreciate what we got because we always worrying about what we don't have and how we can get better for real. I mean, but I ain't where I'm, I ain't, I ain't where I want to be at. So I ain't got time to be appreciating nothing right now. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I ain't really got shit to appreciate right now. I mean, I do appreciate what I have. Let me not say that, God. You feel me? Forgive me for that. I do appreciate what I have, but I ain't where I want to be at. So I gotta keep going. I can't look back. I gotta keep going. You feel me? I had to say that because God will take your shit from you. You got to stay humble. You feel me? Oh, fact. fact. <laughs> so what is it that you're working on right now? Right now, we just working on trying to push this mixtape we got, man. What's the uh, name of the mixtape? Humble Stunner, man. It's out everywhere. Go and get it. There's a lot of good songs on there. Check me out. 
If you want to know who I am, just listen to them songs. This is my first time ever doing that shit. I don't even like people knowing about me. Yeah, because the nigga ain't going to really tell you who the fuck he is in the interview, <laughs> but you can listen to the motherfucking music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can listen to them jumps, you want to know who I am for real, straight up. Like, yeah. What, is this your first project or like, um, not This is my first not, serious yeah. project that I put some real thought in. Because my first joint I put out was the uh, Five Season. Then was just a bunch of songs. Like you said, I was crafting before. I even decided to start rapping. It was just like a force done. You need to put out a project. I was like, I'm gonna put all these songs on there. And then some I didn't put on there, you know? Okay. So that's how that went. But I said, right, this jump, my friends were like, bro, you gotta tell them about who we are, who you are. You gotta dig deeper, slow that shit down. You can't rap like you already made it because we ain't made it yet. I said, all right. <laughs> so you was listening to shit. Yeah, this, yeah, this is yeah, one of the first yeah. times you listen. No, I always listen. Okay. I listen to everything my whole life. That's why I think I'm wise as I am because I listen to everything man i swear to god i listen to everything motherfucker oh, tell me every motherfucker to talk to me i listen to what they saying i feel like you got to in, in life just not even in the, in the industry like you heard the um i don't know if you know the poem the wise old owl the wise old owl sat on the oak no, no, uh, I heard um, that. the wise old owl sat on the oak Shit. the more he saw the less he spoke the more he spoke the less he heard why can't we all be like that wise old bird so it's just basically saying like the less we speak, the more we can hear. And the fact that you listen to everybody is dope. You know what I'm saying? Like you going, you going to make it far because the fact that you listen. A lot of listen niggas don't listen. Listen to everybody. A lot everybody. of niggas don't listen. Yeah. Nah, man. But um, let niggas know where they can fo follow you at. Makes let them know where they can find a project and everything as well. And you can follow me at, at GE number five IVE on everything. If not, put it in motherfucking Google and put in Gerald Lewis. It'll pop up somewhere. You feel me? Mm. That's how we going, man. What about a project? My projects is out everywhere on all platforms, man. Especially on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. Go get the shit. Fuck with me. Amazon Music, Amazon Prime, all that shit. It's out there. I just need y'all to rock with me. You feel me? Already, shout out to everybody that's listening out there because a lot of niggas don't be listening, man. Shout out to y'all. Mr. J Hill, you already know a conversation series uh, episode 12, man. Shout out to my guy, Alante, basic guy, because he make it look good. We always rap. <laughs>